happy official first day of Vlogmas. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. And specifically for the next 25 days, I will be posting something every single day. So I thought what better way to kick off Vlogmas than showing you guys what I would want for Christmas as a ballet dancer. So without further ado, let's get started into today's gift guide for the holidays. As most of you guys know, I'm a former professional ballerina, now dance teacher, and boy oh boy, do I have the most perfect gift guide for your dance teacher, for your friend that's a dancer, for maybe your son or daughter that's a ballet dancer or dancer. So let's get straight into it. And like I said, this is the first day of Vlogmas, so I'm really, really excited. If you can't tell already, I'm getting into the holiday and festive spirit. I love the holidays. I love the holidays so, so much. So like I said, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now for the gift guide, I've divided it into three sections. First of all, I'll be showing you guys and explaining to you guys my budget friendly gifts for anybody if you're willing to spend up to $50. Then we have tier two, which is an average cost, which is between 50 to $100. And then we have the more expensive, luxury presents that are $100 plus. I do also have some stocking stuffers or some presents that would be perfect for Secret Santa. That's something you're doing at your dance studio or your school. So let's get straight into it. I will be starting with the budget friendly gifts. So like I said before, I have the three tiers. The first one being budget friendly is going to range between $15 to $50. So my first item on this gift guide would have to be a leotard, specifically leotards that are either from Discount Dance or Tutu list and if you don't know what tutu list is i've worked with them in the past none of this is sponsored by the way these are all just brands and things that i've accumulated that i love that i endorse that i think any dancer would love but anyways tutu list is a platform an online platform that's basically like a thrift shop for dancewear so you can send in your gently used dancewear items or you can purchase some so you can be a seller or you can be a buyer as far as i know so tutu list is a great platform for that i also love discount dance because you can find some really really good priced leos for example i have this specific one on my wish list it's really cute it is it's got these like long mesh sleeves kind of like a periwinkle kind of color. I love it. It's on my wish list and it retails at $30 and 32 cents Canadian. That's a great deal. And it's gorgeous. So I'll put a picture of it up here. So like I said, any leotard, you can go on discount dance and they actually have sections on their website that are more budget friendly, $25. You can also get leotards for $50. $100, basically anything. And Discount Dance has a range of Leos from $15 to $30, so that's a perfect gift idea for someone who does dance every single day and probably wears their Leos and gets really sweaty and then has to change them multiple times throughout the day. Not saying that's me, but it might be your friend. Next on the list, I have tights. Now dancers always need new tights and I always personally rip mine. You guys know, and people on TikTok always come for me for having ripped tights. So getting them a new pair of tights would not only be something that they need, but probably something that they want. And my favorite pair of tights, the Total Stretch Seamless Convertible Tights from Body Wrappers, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes and shades, which is perfect. So it's great to have those options. The next thing I have on this list are the mega toe spacers from the Shroom. These are the best toe spacers. These are the ones that I use. And if you guys know me, you know I've got major bunions. So these are perfect. I love them. They're super squishy, go right in between your toes and they're safe. You know, they help prevent bunions, but they also help separate your toes. And if your dancer has bunions, they need these. They really do. They do. I need them. So yeah, the Mega Toe Spacers from the Shoe Room and they retail at $17 to $20. Next, ouch pouches, something also that dancers need. Plus you can get really fun colored ones. I'll put some examples up here. Ouch pouches are basically just the little toe pads that you wear inside your point shoe. And if they're allowed to wear those for point class, which I'm a dance teacher and I always allow my kids to wear something that makes their toes not bleed and not bruise. But if their teacher allows it, definitely get them a pair of ouch pouches because they range from $20 to 36. If you want to get them a different kind, like the Gainer Minjin ones are really luxurious feeling and you can get them in different colors. The ones I personally have are also from Body Wrappers, I believe, and they were only $20, which was a great price. Next, again, Discount Dance. You're gonna see this a lot on this video. 
discount dance skirts. Specifically, I love this dance skirt. It's a pull-on skirt, it has kind of a little slit on the side and it's so gorgeous, it's in my list. I will put it here and I'll put all the links in my description box as well, all of the things that I'm putting up in the pictures up here. But again, skirts are something that dancers wear every single day and if their teacher allows it, or even on some days where it's like free days, like we used to have a uniform when I was in ballet school, but our teachers would let us have free days where we got to wear any leotard, any skirt, any tights that we wanted. Plus, if your dancer is at a studio where they allow it, I'm sure they would love to get a skirt for Christmas. Plus, it's something that you know they're going to wear and it's gonna fit right. Sometimes leotards can be a little hit and miss, not really because they're so stretchy, but let's say it really doesn't fit them and they have to return it, which isn't the biggest deal, you know, just keep the receipt. But a skirt, 99% of the time, I feel like fits because it's so stretchy and it's just, especially with these pull-on ones, they're perfect. I love pull-on skirts. They're my favorite kind of skirts. I love wrap skirts too. I love the look of them, but the pull-on skirts are just so easy. They're just so easy to take on and off and change and wash as well. I love pull-on skirts. So definitely pull-on skirts is on this list as well for budget-friendly gifts. Next on the list, we have the Mesh Studio Backpack. Are you kidding? Do you see this? This backpack is stunning. I want this. It has a spot for your shoes. It has a spot for your keys, basically anything. And it retails at only $28. So yeah, I'll also put this in the description box below. Next, Skin Tone Dance Socks. This is a thing that wasn't a thing when I was a dancer. Dance socks were not allowed. We weren't even allowed to wear socks in class. We had to wear bare feet or foot paws, but these dance socks specifically have compression technology and they're not made to be super slippery. That's the reason we weren't allowed to wear socks in dance class because they were super slippery. These dance socks are made to dance in and they are perfect for dance. So if you have a contemporary dancer that you know of, get them these skin toned mesh, skin toned dance socks and they are only 14 to $15. It's also a great stocking stuffer. Next, we have the Block Ballerina Tutu Bag, which actually one of my students has this bag and it's the cutest thing. They bought it at a store nearby and it's so adorable. So if you know a little girl or a little boy or a young dancer that would love this bag, even I would love this, but oh my gosh, if I have a little sister, it'd be so cute. It's a, like a little tutu. I'll put a picture up here. So adorable and it is only $38.99. So it's a little bit pricier, but it's so adorable. So adorable. I love puffer jackets. You guys have probably seen me wear my puffer jacket time and time again in my vlogs and in my TikToks and in my YouTubes. I wear my puffer jacket, not just for ballet, but going to the studio, coming from the studio, warming up, cooling down. I love this puffer jacket and I got it on sale and they're currently on sale right now for $26.99. This is my favorite puffer jacket. I have like five or six puffer jackets, and this is my favorite. I got it in the color white, and it comes in a lot of cute colors. For example, this pink one right here. Love it, that's on my Christmas wish list. But again, they're on sale and they are my favorite. Just the fit of them. I personally don't like cropped jackets because in Canada it's really cold. So I wanna keep my whole body warm. So this puffer jacket is on this list. Therabands, oh my gosh. Count the number of times I've used a TheraBand in one of my videos. Guys, I use it every single day. Even if I'm not dancing, I'll use it to strengthen my arms. I'll use it to strengthen my back. I'll use it to teach. I'll use it for my feet. I'll use it for my ankles, for articulation. I use it all the time. Even Steven uses it to stretch. It's something that's so universal for everybody. So whether they're a beginner or they're somebody that's more advanced, TheraBand is a must. So you can buy them at Winners and I think I bought mine for like $15. Definitely TheraBand is on this list. If you're looking for something a little bit more complete, for example, you need something with a loop band and stretching bands, my personal and slightly biased favorite kit is the Flex Bands kit. And I personally do work for Flex Space Studios. I am not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I use these bands every single day. You guys have seen me use these bands and I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you want to purchase these bands, you can use my discount code and call it a day. They are the best. Epsom salts, specifically the Sage Epsom salts. They retail for $24. They are on my Christmas wish list because I have the regular Epsom salts from shoppers, but Sage is just one of those brands that feels really luxurious. It's really affordable and we have a diffuser. We love using it. And Sage, whenever I go in the store, I just feel so at peace and awaken. So I put the Sage Epsom salts on this list specifically for someone to buy them for me. 
Anyways, next on the list, oh my gosh, I have a lot of things on this list. I should post this list as well on Instagram or something. Um, foam roller from Trigger Point. We have one of the Trigger Point rollers. I think we have the green one, but you can get it for $50. You can also get alternatives. You can get the hand rollers. You can even get like a tennis ball. Like I know that's not the nicest mm -hmm. gift, but if you buy a package of them, dancers are gonna go nuts. We love massaging ourselves. We love getting a roller out, massaging our sore muscles. So any kind of foam roller, specifically the trigger point one is one of my favorites, but if you are on a budget and you're trying to get something a little bit less expensive because it does retail for $50, you can find them at Winners, you can find them at Sport Check, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, and I have this specific hand roller, I can't find it. I think it's in Steve's office because I think he's been using it, but basically it's like a ball inside of a little handheld thing and you can use it to roll out your muscles. It's amazing i love it next on the list this is funny because you wouldn't think that dancers would love this but think about shows what do dancers have to do for shows other than dance usually they have to put on makeup and if you're somebody like me and you have super sensitive skin for example i have this giant zit so annoyed by it i was literally like Come on, on the one day I'm filming a face sitting down video, you had to do this to me. But if you know somebody that has sensitive skin, the Dr. Jart face masks, the sheet mask, love it. I love sheet masks in general, but the Dr. Jart one is my favorite. So yeah, definitely get them one of those. It's also a great stocking stuffer, but if you want to splurge a little bit extra, get them the Dr. Jart ones. They're a little bit more pricey than, for example, the drugstore or the shoppers, but they're still really reasonably priced. Like I got a pack of five for $26 at Winners because they also sell them at Winners. So in general, go to Winners and find all these things. Like you can probably do every kind of person shopping at Winners. You can buy everybody's Christmas presents at Winners and it's so vast there. Can you tell that I love Winners? I absolutely love Winners. They're, it's my favorite. I want to go there today. Now I'm tempted to go there. Should I go? Probably. No, let's finish the video. Anyways, next I've also put the Capizio leg warmers and I like this small and pastel ones. I don't know if they're kid size or adult size, but I feel like with leg warmers, they're pretty stretchy regardless. So there's not really like much sizing unless you get the tiny little ones. But I put the pastel fuzzy ones on here. They retail for $17 and the other ones on Discount Dance can also retail for $32. So between 17 to $32. That's a great price range. You can get them a pair of leg warmers and I love colorful leg warmers. So if you know your dancers or your friend's favorite color, get them a pair of colorful fuzzy or knit leg warmers. Next and last on the budget friendly list, I've put ballet shawls. I just recently bought one of my favorite ballet shawls from Winners and it was only $39.99. It's Jessica Simpson. It's a little pink fuzzy shawl. You guys have seen it on my Instagram stories and my Instagram posts and reels and TikToks. Cause I love it. It's so soft and it's giving me ballet core, pink Pilates princess vibes. So ballet shawls specifically, you can get them off Sancha for $49.99. I think they're so beautiful. I love Sancha as a brand. They just know how to color coordinate, you know? They do these stripes and I'm not a stripey gal. I don't like stripes that often. I think they're too harsh on the eyes and I don't like stripes on me, but they do color coordination so right that it gets me every single time. And then before you know it, I have it in my cart. So yeah, the Sancha, shawls for $49.99 are so pretty um but winners also sells great options all right so that brings us to our medium budget and that is going to be ranged between 50 to 100 dollars so if you have a significant other or a best friend or a son or daughter or a kid and you want to spend a little bit extra on them but not go crazy and hit a home run this is perfect so First things first, the cross back tank leotard, specifically in the shade Lilac. Did I put this on the list so potentially Steve can see it and buy it for me? Absolutely. I love this leotard. I need it. I think it's gorgeous. So unique. It's so pretty and it's the perfect leotard, I think for auditions. I think it's really suited to everybody's skin tone. I think it's gorgeous and it's on my wish list. So yeah, don't buy them all because I need one. No, I'm just kidding, but not really, but I am. 
But anyways, the shade Lilac is my favorite, so I put that on this list selfishly. Next, a Yumiko Leotard. Yumiko Leotards can range between $50 to $100, sometimes even more if you get the really expensive, luxurious materials. I haven't checked recently what their prices are, but from what I remember, my most expensive Yumiko was about $95, and it was all velvet and silk, and it was... It was mesh, no, not silk, mesh and velvet, which those are the two most expensive things you can get in the leotard. And I was like, fudge it, I'm gonna go crazy. So Yumiko leotards are a great option because not only are they unique in their fit, but you get to pick the fit, you get to pick the sleeves, you get to pick the color, the trim, even if you want to get a specific kind of material because maybe, hey, maybe your dancer doesn't like mesh, but maybe they love velvet or vice versa. Maybe they hate velvet, they love mesh. You can be the boss of what that leotard's gonna look like. You can design it. You can cosplay a designer for a day, make a leotard and give it to your dancer. Hopefully they're not super picky like me and they are pretty easy. Actually, not that picky. Steve's parents got me a Yumiko and I'm obsessed with it. It's probably one of my favorite Yumikos to date. It's got velvet trim, mesh sleeves, and a full like pewter gray kind of color. Stunning, I love it. But Yumiko Leotards, my favorite brand for Leotards. You can also get skirts, same thing. You get to pick the color. I don't know if you get to pick the trim, but you get to pick the color and the fit. I love their skirts as well. Basically anything Yumiko on this list. Next, we have the tutu travel bag. If your dancer has a tutu, they need this bag. I have the Gainer Minden one. It's a little bit more expensive than any other tutu bag, but it has these buckles on the inside to keep the tutu flat. It has compartments to maybe put safety pins if you have to tack your tutu together to your costume. The Gainer Minton one is $75.99, but I found some others for $54, $50, $49.99. So it's a little bit more expensive, but if your dancer travels and they have a tutu, they need this. You don't want to get a white tutu and then spill all over it. Oh my gosh, that would be a disaster. So a tutu bag would be great for anybody who has a tutu. Next, I also put another kid's one because it's so adorable and it's another bag, of course. It's the Wear Moi Kitten Bag for kids and it's the purple kitty one and it retails at $87.99. But if I had a little girl, if I had a little sister, this would be also purchased because it's so adorable. Like I said, it's a little bit more pricey, but oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So adorable. Next on the list, I put the Herschel Supply Dance Bag and it's 20% off right now. So it retails for $55.99, which is incredible. And look at all the compartments it has. Think of all the things you could put inside of it. Think of all the space for activities. I guess that doesn't work for a bag. I also put warm up booties because yes, they are a bit pricey, but dancers, we love, 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 love them. Nom, 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 nom. We love warm up booties. We love them. We love warm up booties. I myself had a pair. Someone stole them. So yeah, warm up booties are high up on this list. Great option. Any dancer is gonna like them. Everybody's gonna like them. Everybody likes these booties. Everybody. I even had a pair when I had my pair before they got stolen and I'd wear them around the house. I wore them every single day. I wore them until they had holes in them, which is surprising that people stole it because it literally had holes in it, but that's not the point. Next, I put flat ballet shoes. I personally like the Sancha Classic Pro and they retail for $35 to $45. I wear them every single day and I get a hole in them after like a year or so and I have to replace them. So if you're a dancer, somebody who does ballet class in person or online, they definitely need ballet shoes, but ask them beforehand because every dancer is picky with their shoes. Even though they're flat shoes, they're not point shoes, we're still picky. Like, I will not wear Angelo Luzio because that's what I had to wear in school and I hated the feeling on me, but I love the Sancha. I haven't worn Angelo Luzio in a long time. So if you love them, that's great, but I didn't like them at the time when I was wearing them because they didn't come in a wider size for me, so they were really tight on my feet. But that's why I love the Sancha Pro, the Sancha Classic Pro, because they do come in a wider side size. Next, I put the CBD cream from CBD North. And you guys know I worked with CBD North this year and I love the cream. It's been so helpful and I'm actually out of one of them. It's been so helpful for sore muscles, sore and tight muscles. I use it before bed. Yeah, just anything off their website, I love. I also put the Cloud and Victory tool skirt. It's $60 and what I love about Cloud and Victory, not only is their stuff adorable, I mean, are you kidding? Look at the sparkly gorgeousness of this skirt, but it's ethically and sustainably made and you're supporting a smaller business. So I love that. Um, so Cloud and Victory, pretty much everything from their website I want on their, on my list, but I specifically picked this tool skirt. Speaking of skirts, you guys know my favorite skirt already. 
The Pirouette Tool Skort from Pop Flex. Speaking of skort, the dress, if your dancer loves wearing a dress here and there, or they do dance classes, and now specifically ballet classes where they have to wear leotard tights, the Pirouette Corset Dress. It's the dress of my dreams. The skort is also the skort of my dreams. So I put both of these on this list because I can't choose between one. I had to put both of them because they're so stunning. You guys always compliment me and ask me where I get my skorts and PopFlex always sells out of these skorts. So get them before they sell out because they are stunning, they are gorgeous, and I'm obsessed. And just look at the way that they twirl. I know, it's stunning. I also have a try-on haul of all the PopFlex things that they sent me like a year ago or so and this year. So definitely check that out. I'll put the cards up here somewhere. Also, kind of interesting last time we talked about when you take your makeup off putting a face mask what about makeup dancers always wear makeup doesn't matter who you are every dancer has to wear makeup for a show not only because it makes us look fabulous it also brings out our features so we don't look like a blob on stage so getting them a makeup palette specifically i have the morphe makeup palette it's lasted me for three and a half years it's amazing and i use it every single day not just for ballet but i love it i don't know if you're supposed to use a palette for that long but it's last to me, so whatever. Um, but if you can find a makeup palette that has neutrals, but also has like reds, maybe even blues, perfect. So I'll put a couple of ideas here. Like I said, I like the Morphe one. That's my favorite personally. Then we have to think about, okay, dancers wear makeup for shows. What happens during shows? They perform. What happens when you perform? You get really nervous. What happens when you're nervous? The sweat pools down. So the Urban Decay setting spray is the best makeup setting spray i own it is my favorite i use it even day in and day out for my regular schmegular makeup and it stays on perfectly and for shows it is sweat proof it is tear proof but yeah the setting spray is amazing then i have the pharmacy green clean makeup melt and guys i am fresh out i again put this selfishly because it is the best thing to take away pounds of makeup that you might have from shows without irritating your skin. And like I said, I put it selfishly because I'm out and I'm really sad about that. I also really love the squalene cleanser from The Ordinary. That's a more budget friendly version, but the Pharmacy Green Clean, it is top tier. Then I put the Stanley Quencher Travel Tumbler for $65 or the Yeti for hot teas or water. Dancers, we love coffee, we love tea, we love water. I'm really bad at drinking water, but if I had one of these Stanleys, I promise you I would be drinking water so much. I would be so hydrated. So yeah, again, put this selfishly down on my list because I want it. I have a lot of wants and needs. Next on the list, I have overalls, which are basically what they sound like. They're overalls and they're warmups for dance. You guys know I love my Sancha one. It's got that kind of garbage bag material. It's purple and I love wearing it before class because not only does it get me sweating a little bit, so it gets me warm faster, but it's cute. I mean, it's adorable. I love it. I feel like so professional wearing it and it's really cold in Canada, like I've mentioned time and time again. And it's that time of the year where there's snow on the ground. I mean, I can't be mad about it though because it's the holidays. So, like I said, these overalls are perfect for any dancer. Every dancer that I talk to loves these because you can roll them down, just wear them as pants. They're versatile, baby. So these overalls are on this list as well. So they retail for about 50 to $100, depending on the ones you can get. You can get the ones that are like the Chicot ones or the ones I'll put right here. And they're more of like a, there's also Gainer Minden ones that are pretty expensive, but you can also get the cotton material ones that are just like a fabric. So up to you. Then last on this list, I have a PopFlex water bottle because like I said, if I had a cute water bottle, I would be drinking water all the time. I have a Yeti and I love it, but I reserve that Yeti for hot drinks because if I'm going to the studio, I need something warm in my hands. So I also need something to hold on to for my water. So I put the PopFlex water bottle as well as the Stanley in here in terms of water bottles. That brings us to our expensive tier. These gifts are going to retail for over $100 or $100 worth of labor, let's say, or a lot of effort. I hope you guys are either taking notes or like having a snack because I know this video is gonna be really, really long because guys, this list is, oh my God, it's so long. It takes up four pages. So like I said, we're on to the expensive gifts. So let's start out with the Lululemon tote bag or the base bag. So these retail for $140 to 
I personally have the base bag and I am obsessed. I take it to dance every single day. I use it all the time. It's an overnight bag. It holds my point shoes, my stinky shoes on the underneath compartment. It holds my laptop in the side compartment. It holds my phone on the other side compartment. It holds my lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this bag. It can also change to be a crossbody one. And it also has a little slit so you can put it on top of your luggage. It is perfect. I personally don't have the Lululemon tote bag, but I do know some of my colleagues and some dancers that own this and also love it just as much. So both of these options are great. I'm a little biased because I have the base one. It's a little bit more expensive, but something that's on my list is this base one. Like this look, so gorgeous. Next, point shoes. If you know your dancers make, because here's the thing, you can't just buy any kind of point shoe on a website. You can't, especially not Wish. You can't just buy any kind of point shoes. You have to know the size, the fit, the make, the model, everything about the point shoe that your dancer owns. So what I would recommend to people, <clears throat> Steve, is to look at the point shoe or call wherever they purchased their point shoe last and see what they bought previously and just reorder what they did because that's an expensive gift that most dancers aren't gonna spend, well, they have to, they don't want to though. So if you are able to spend that amount and buy them a new pair of point shoes for the next few months, they would love you for that. They would love you. It's just an extra hundred dollars they don't have to spend. You know what I mean? Plus it's thoughtful. Then I've put the sauna pants. I was talking about the overalls before and this kind of goes in the same realm but these are the sauna versions. And these are $100, these sauna pants. I love them. I used to own them. And they were stolen from me. Yeah, somebody stole like a bunch of my stuff when I was in Romania. But anyways, these sauna pants were near and dear to my heart. I loved them. They kept me warm for class. They made me too sweaty, so you have to be careful. You don't wanna wear them for too long. Maybe just like warm up in plies and then take them off because they're so sweat inducing. But I wore them for rehearsal too, if it was really cold out and I wanted to stay warm, they're amazing. Next, I put the Pirouette corset dress and I know I put that earlier, but this is a little bit more expensive. It's not under $100, so I just put that in here. I also put a backpack, the backpack, the backpack from Cloud and Victory or the Pop Flex Ella Duffel in Magic Flash. Do you guys see this color? Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Yeah. That's why it's on this list. I also put the Lululemon yoga mat. I actually read through this New York Times article and it said that this was the best yoga mat of 2023. So I put this on my list for my selfish reasons as well because the yoga mat I have is torn to shreds. Our cat and our dog both love to scratch the crap out of this mat. So if you can get them a nice quality mat, they would love you for it. Plus it's gorgeous and they would feel so bougie before they roll out or stretch or warm up before class. Or if there's somebody who's doing ballet class online or at home, also perfect because they're gonna need a yoga mat to roll out anyways. Next on this list, I put a homemade ballet bar. And if you guys know me, you know that I am dating the most heartfelt, sweet, incredible person ever. He made me a ballet bar for my birthday and it was a huge surprise. I did not expect it whatsoever. Incredible, he handmade it. I have to double check with him and I'll put it in the edit here somewhere how much it cost him. I wanna guess it cost him about $100, but the effort was priceless. That's why I put it in here. Even if he spent $30 on it, the effort that he put into making this bar and surprising me, and it's gorgeous. It's like this Barbie pink color and I use it all the time. So thoughtful and he doesn't have to know a lot about ballet to make it. He just has to understand how to make it. He also did a tutorial on it. So if you want a tutorial, I've also got that. Am I not the most amazing dance sister ever? Online dance sister. Got you covered, girlfriend. Okay, next we have the heat pod. You guys know I love Hydrogun. I've worked with them for a couple of years now and they sent me the heat pod recently, their sauna blanket, and I love it. It's $759, which I know is more pricey. I know it's more pricey. I know, I know, I know, I know. But if you can spend it, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with every Hydrogun product, especially this one, because it's a sauna at home. Yes, it's a bit more pricey, but it would be way more pricey to get a sauna at home, to make a sauna into your house. And most people can't do that. Or if you don't have a gym membership, this sauna you'll have for life. And you know, it's just a one-time purchase. I love it. I use it for my recovery routine and I have a video on how I use it and how I've been using it for my recovery routine. And I'll link that as well. 
up here in the description box down below. I also put the Hydrogun Massage retails for $399 or the Atom, which I use every day. I specifically use this head and you can tell I use it every day because I need to charge it again for like the seven millionth time. I especially love using it on my calves. Anyways, then I also put down a gift card to a spa or massage, speaking of massages. So if you're a dancer, somebody who's a chronically sore, always tired, get them a gift card to a massage or a spa. They would love that. Maybe you make it a date out of it. Go with your friend or your partner or whoever. Go with them to the spa and get massages together. Like, yes, it's a bit more pricey and it's a lot of effort, but they would love that. Speaking of gift cards, I thought this would be a great present. I was thinking of this today. A subscription to some kind of dance class, either online or in person. For example, I teach with Flexbase Studios and one of the intensives that we're teaching right now, last intensive is this coming Tuesday, is ballerina feet or dancer feet. And we run these intensives and they're about $99. And you can get them something like that or you can get them a pass to something like Ballet Active with English National Ballet. So some dance platforms are about $260 a year. This one is $129 a year or $12.99 a month. So again, I know it's a bit more expensive, but it gives them a year of dance classes online. You can also get them dance class passes for in-person. Next, I also put down an online subscription model and it's Masterclass with Misty Copeland and it's $15 a month. I just love Misty. I love Misty Copeland. She is my idol. She is one of my favorite dancers to date. I think she is incredible. She has done so much for the dance community, for the arts community, and she's so inspirational. So being able to take a class with her, oh my gosh, any dancer would just like kiss your feet for doing that for them. So a subscription to the masterclass with Misty Copeland. Then I also put tickets to a ballet performance or a show. Some tickets you can find for $45. For example, National Ballet, you can get like, they're the nosebleeds tickets, so they're gonna be really high up in the fifth or the fourth ring, yeah. But they're $45, which is a great price. It's a lot of effort if you don't live in the city and you have to drive down, so that's why I put it here. But you can also find tickets if you do live in the city for $100 on the ground or the orchestra. So, that's up to you where you want to sit, how much you want to spend. It's a big range, $45. Some of the tickets are even like $260, which I know is crazy expensive, but any dancer wants to go to a ballet show. Are you kidding? They would love, or any kind of dance show or concert performance. Next, I also put a tripod. If they are filming Day in My Life as a dancer, TikToks, get them a nice tripod. I put this specific tripod here and I put it in the link and description box down below as well. I also put on this list a subscription to Dose Juice. I personally am an affiliate with Dose Juice. Again, this isn't sponsored, but I get my subscription once a month and I love it. It retails for about 60 to $80, depending on what you get. I think mine's $60 a month and I'm obsessed with Dose Juice. I do have a discount code as well for your first subscription box. So definitely use that. It's code Jasmine. McD for 15% off. And last but not least, I put a ballet floor. Again, I'm dating the perfect person and he got me a ballet floor for Christmas, our first year of dating. A ballet floor, like the floor, like the Harlequin floor. Not the Harlequin one because it wasn't shipping to Canada at the time because it was the, you know what? But he did get me a dance floor that's made for tap, jazz, basically anything. It's not padded, but it is made for tap and you know wearing point shoes on, so it's not slippery. It's not sticky, it is perfect. Last but not least, that brings me to my stocking stuffers. Now, if you got this far into the video, comment a little hippo emoji because why not? Um, but stocking stuffers, we're gonna blitz through these because they're pretty quick. Bunheads heavyweight hairpins, amazing. They're the only hairpins that I use other than bobby pins from shoppers. Bunheads heavyweight hairpins. Next, we have the Bunheads invisible hairnets, 525 gray stocking stuffer. Next, we have hair elastics from Shoppers Drug Mart. Six dollars, amazing. Or TJ Maxx, wherever you get your hair elastics, amazing. Makeup sponges, dancers need makeup sponges. If you don't wanna spend money on the beauty blender, get the makeup sponge, five to ten dollars from any local drugstore. Next, toe spacers. You can get toe spacers for fifteen dollars and I know I put them in the more 
budget-friendly section of today's video, but you can also get the regular toast basters for $15, which are also a great stocking stuffer. The other ones that I recommended are more expensive because they're bigger, they're thicker, and they're made for people who really need them. So $15 toast basters are great as well. Jet glue. Be careful with this one. Do not open it. Don't even try. I know you're tempted, but don't even try because you will spill it everywhere. Let them do that. But jet glue is something that dancers for sure need, especially if they wear point shoes. If they don't wear point shoes, don't bother with the jet glue because they won't use it otherwise. If they own point shoes that aren't gainer mindens or aren't any kind of shoe that is plastic, that is more biodegradable, get them jet glue. Next, we have lamb's wool. Same thing, if they wear point shoes, lamb's wool is a great present or a great stocking stuffer. Next, we have toe tape you can get from shoppers. You can also get it from the shoe room for $8. I love this toe tape specifically. Next, we have the stitch kit or the sewing kit from Bunheads that retails for $12. This is the best stitch kit in my opinion because I think the thread has a little bit of wax on it so it actually sticks when you're sewing it through so the shoes don't come undone when you're dancing because sometimes I've used regular thread and it's just too slick that it comes undone because you're pulling a lot. If you think about it with the elastics, you're going up and down and you're pushing against the elastics with your ankle. This stitch kit has the best thread and the best needle as well. It gets through everything. It's like industrial grade. Next, we have fake eyelashes, eyelash glue. If your dancer does shows and they need eyelashes, gray stocking stuffer. And last but not least, I have the Too Faced Waterproof Mascara in the travel size. Great stocking stuffer. It is what I use every single day and it's the only mascara that stays on these eyelashes because if I cry, if I sweat, it stays on. If I shower and I wash my face, it stays on. I really need to use that Pharmacy Green Clean to take it off or makeup remover. But that concludes today's video. That concludes the gift guide. Let me know what you want to get out of this gift guide. If you have one of these on your wish list now, or if you're going to purchase one of these things, but maybe don't comment because you want to keep it secret. But let me know if you have any other ideas. Let me know what you want to see next. I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy Vlogmas, happy holidays. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye.